the world teaches us everything's about us. And so here's what happens. Man, we begin to, if we start talking about fasting, obviously it's about me. It's about me getting something, right? I'm gonna fast so God will give me a job. I'm gonna fast so God will give me a spouse. I'm gonna fast so God will give me a promotion or God will do this. And, 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 and listen, I, when, when fasting is about seeking God's direction. But if we fast, it's not like we're going on a hunger strike and waving our arms trying to get God's attention. Hey God, I'm over here. I'm going without food. Will you do this for me? You see, that's what the world teaches. Everything's about us, and so we think fasting is about us. But the Word teaches everything's about God. You see, the Word is what we go by, and it teaches everything's about God. As a matter of fact, look at what Isaiah the prophet wrote in Isaiah 43, 7. He says, everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Now, what Isaiah tells us is this. You want to know why you're on this planet? The hand of God. You want to know why you're living in this moment? By the plan of God. You weren't born in the medieval times. You weren't born in, 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 you know, during the Revolutionary War. Uh, you weren't born 20 years prior, 20 years after the day you were. You were born in the specific moment you were by the plan of God. It wasn't happenstance. It wasn't, you know, well, it just happened to be coincidence. You are the plan of God. He created you. He knit you together in your mother's womb by his plan. You, you, you live in the exact place. We're told in Acts. You live here. I was born somewhere else like most of you. I'm, I'm, I live here now. Acts 17 says, because of the plan of God. You're, you're, you have air in your lungs. You have blood in your veins. Why do you do that? To bring God glory. That's why you exist. So the scriptures tell us that the world says everything's about us. The word says everything's about God. Okay. As a matter of fact, if you look at, at first Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, Paul says the same thing. He says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, this is where we get our camp theme, by the way, we call our camp for our students, camp, whatever. And, uh, it's because this is everything you do is about the glory of God. Whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. 